we were there for centuries together. Our father, mother, our forefather is an ancestor. Citizen of Myanmar. The brother from Russia, I'm a little bit of a tumor. Oh, we don't know what is called Bangali. Police to have to either on a divide and rule. Their identity crisis is intentionally smelled, forgotten, and executed. They have killed the people, they have burned the villages, they have raped the women. This cannot be a part of military operation. You kill the identity, then you are actually also being complicit to genocide. We don't know how many people have been killed, but we do have some idea of how many have been burnt and chased out of their homes. The world's fastest growing humanitarian crisis as thousands of Rohingya refugees are spending a fourth night stranded near the border with Bangladesh. Let's not forget that the whole world is watching. What happens here has global implications. Our people have shared their shelters, their food, their clothing with these people. How do you value that? More than 600 HIV positive cases detected. Nobody becomes a refugee by choice. They're forced to become refugees. Our concern is the safe return and the earliest possible date for the start of repatriation. <laughs> People have shared their shelters, their food, their clothing with these people. How do you value that? Local people uh, became minority right now. The tension between the Rohingyas and the local people is going up every day. More than 600 HIV positive cases detected. Bangladesh needs to also protect its own citizen and also maintain, uh, maintain the rights of their own citizens. Uthiyar Manuj Jeta Dekhiye Chhe Shri 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 Kota Ehi Nadira Stapan Kota Paranai Quite a lot of effort was made by Bangladesh and we have got Bangladeshi officials working every day side by side with us to prove that we are the best leading manager in the world. The system got us in Myanmar it has so much done in Myanmar. They should not have allowed the army or the law enforcement agency to attack the common people. আমাদের প্রত্যাশা আমরা নিজ দেশে আমাদের না পূর্ণ নাগরিকতা নিয়ে আমরা ফিরে যেতে চাই আমাদের দেশের নাগরিকতা আমাদের দেশের মৌলিক অধিকার আমাদের দেশের আইসিসি আইসিসি পূর্ণ যে গণহত্যার বিচার আমি দাবি করি প্রধানমন্ত্রী যেটা বাস্তব বাস্তবায়ন আমাদের জন্য জাতিসংঘ এ তুলছে ওইটা বাস্তবায়ন হলে আমরা মায়ের মাথার যাইতে চাই প্রথমত অনতি বিলম্বে এবং চিরতরে মিয়ানমারের সহিংসতা ও জাতিগত নিধন নিঃস্বার্থে বন্ধ করা দ্বিতীয়ত অনতিবিলম্বে মিয়ানমারের জাতিসংঘের মহাসচিবের নিজস্ব একটি অনুসন্ধানী দল প্রেরণ করা তৃতীয়ত জাতি ধর্ম নির্বিশেষে সকল সাধারণ নাগরিকের নিরাপত্তা বিধান করা এবং এ লক্ষ্যে মিয়ানমারের অভ্যন্তরীণ জাতিসংঘের তত্ত্বাবধানে সুরক্ষা বলয় গড়ে তোলা We've reported already to the Human Rights Council, we've reported to the Security Council and the General Assembly, and through the international media to the world community. These people who have been through so much can go back to their places of origin. And that responsibility largely lies on Myanmar.
most refugees, if you talk to them, do want to go back. But they tell us very clearly, we want to go back with our full rights. We want to go back in dignity. And they want to see from the Myanmar government that action has been taken towards that end. We, in the recommendation indicator that they should not be put in camps, they should be allowed to go back to their villages, and they should be helped to rebuild and reconstruct. And above all, on the key question of citizenship and verification, State Councillor accepted the report and indicated they will implement it. The Honourable Prime Minister, her proposal she has put forward is really unique and excellent. If those five points are accepted by Myanmar, the problem will be resolved once and for all. We, we don't want any part-time solution of the problem. We want permanent solution to the problem that this sort of uh, crimes against humanity is not repeated in Myanmar. Unfortunately, Myanmar has not responded positively. Despite constant diplomatic efforts by the government, there seems to be no hope for an immediate repatriation. Indeed, the Myanmar government seems least interested in the resolution of the crisis. The clearance operation is already done. The Myanmar military is sticking to their lies and deceptions, unwilling to give in to any demands of the international community. Even the strategy to send back the refugees to so-called designated safe zones inside Myanmar is not getting any ground. But if it does happen, which is unlikely, it will be tantamount to sending them to concentration camps and robbing them of their future rights and citizenships, which are their primary demands. It's a big tragedy for human being to be a stateless. I think uh, Rohingya is the most unfortunate people in the world right now. I think it's uh, clearly true that there's a link between the lack of secure legal status for these people in Myanmar and the fact that they've continued to face successive waves of, of violence against them and to have to feel that they have to leave uh, the country and seek protection in, in, in Bangladesh. That's why we think that uh, a pathway to citizenship in Myanmar must be part of the solution. Meanwhile, the host communities are also becoming apprehensive of the long-term presence of the refugees and thus slowly turning hostile towards them. Many refugees don't want this to happen. They want to return to their homes and re-establish their life on their ancestral lands with dignity and full rights as Myanmar nationals. Why can you not go into Bangladesh? No, no, we have no intention, we are not Bengali, we are not Bangladeshi. We are still waiting to go back, to come back our home. What would it take to persuade you to go home? The perpetrators must be taken to the trial, international trial, and then to restore our rights, our citizenship, like other communities in Myanmar. Uh, simple repatriation without the kinds of uh, assurances and support for the Rohingya themselves um, is uh, not necessarily the best solution. Uh, they uh, fled because of uh, fears of violence and because of actual violence uh, to return them without uh, the proper uh, support and the proper protections um, would be a, a challenge. It's about finding a political solution, finding an answer uh, in Myanmar, uh, from Burma, uh, creating the conditions for a safe, uh, dignified return. The problem originated from inside Myanmar and the solution also lies at the hand of Myanmar. Uh, so, uh, despite repeated and sincere attempts from our side, things actually did not move uh, much because of the um, absence of conducive environment and situation in such a hand. If the world is looking at what Syrians and others trying to resolve that, they should try to resolve this uh, crisis and it's not today's crisis. It's, it's happening for the last decades. And every time Bangladesh is uh, uh, facing the brunt, and previously also, in bilaterally uh, tried to resolve this, 
but now it seems is beyond bilateral discussion it is also important that Myanmar should be very serious about this problem they should own their own people they should take them back as soon as they can and they should also ensure the necessary environment for a really uh, sustainable repatriation the Rohingya crisis has not run its course yet. Bangladesh government continues to try and pursue voluntary, safe and dignified repatriation of the Rohingyas to Myanmar. The ideal solution would have been that the Rohingya actually going back to their own country, which they feel is Myanmar, Rakhine state. Until then, they are somewhere, and that may be even for a long period of time, in camp-like situations in other countries or if those countries have uh, clear provisions to provide them with asylum and that can be one way forward in terms of uh, slightly easing of the pressure on Bangladesh but also continue to uh, put certain kind of influencing powers or efforts towards Myanmar. I feel very strongly that till the repatriation process starts and it will take a long time before all of them are repatriated. This entire Rohingya group who are now in the refugee camps in Cox's Bazar should be moved to Bhashanchar. Bhashanchar is an inhabited island. It is a huge island. Bangladesh has made arrangement for only 100,000 now, but the island can easily house more than 1 million people. Bangladesh Navy is building a base in there, so it is very much a habitable place. There is agriculture possibility there. People raise livestock there. People do farming there. Fish farming is also possible there. It has helipads. It is only maximum 12 kilometers from you know uh, any point in Bangladesh. I think the international community they should help in making sure that this all the other facilities are given like schooling, health facilities, you know, market, shops, economic activity. It is a large area and there will and there'll be no clash with the locals because there's not too many local people there. Resettlement is one of the traditional UNHCR solutions that UNHCR pursues. Through resettlement people leave the country where they found protection and they start a new life in a third country. This is usually available only to a small number of refugees. I would not be uh, you know, in favor of a third country settlement because uh, that would uh, literally uh, support the genocidal intent because that is going to finish this particular community for good. Now that we don't want. We want a Rohingya community to exist. It has our own civilization. It has its own language. It has its own culture, its own food, its own music, its own poetry. It has, you know, as I say, it's, it's a civilization. <laughs> Now these Rohingyas are putting new demands. They want guarantee of citizenship. They want guarantee of, you know, uh, of uh, accountability of the one who committed these crimes. These are things that should be decided inside Myanmar. That is not Bangladesh's concern. And they should not be making these demands sitting in Bangladesh. Our concern is the safe return uh, of the uh, Rohingyas and the earliest possible date for the start of the repatriation. While we are looking for long-term solution, let's not forget about the immediate humanitarian needs on the ground. This crisis needs continued funding. This crisis needs continued advocacy and political support and continued investment of resources. Right? We cannot forget that while the long-term solution is being negotiated and we all very much hope that it will happen sooner rather than later, there are things we need to do and continue to do right now in Cox's Bazaar and for that we need resources. I think the, 
of the, the most important um, steps forward toward repatriation. Uh, the power lies in the hands of the government of, of Myanmar. Uh, there have to be uh, changes to policy and practice that are implemented on, on the ground um, that will give people the confidence that they need to, to return home. Um, we are working with the government of Myanmar and the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, to help create conditions for return. Bangladesh has a number of options, but we don't want to get into other options. Myanmar is our neighbor, they will remain as neighbor. They are a geographic neighbor. We want to cooperate with them in development, in developing their economy, and also developing ourselves along with them. Therefore, they must accept their people with dignity and whatever has been happening in the past, let them forget, let these people forget and start assured a new life as an equal citizen of that country. Myanmar is the country uh, that recognized Bangladesh in, in, in the very early, uh, early uh, uh, stage of our independence. So, so these two countries otherwise enjoyed uh, uh, kind of uh, good relations, but uh, Bangladesh's position is very clear. Bangladesh uh, wants to support the Rohingyas and it is a humanitarian crisis and Myanmar accepted earlier that they would uh, repatriate uh, or they would help uh, Rohingyas to be repatriated in their country and they considered that uh, Rohingyas are people from their country. They, they are divided on the issue of uh, their identity or their citizenship but they never contradicted that they, they would not take them back because uh, in 1978 or in 1992 we saw that uh, Myanmar took uh, um, hundreds and thousands of uh, Rohingyas from Bangladesh. If the government or the different states do not always act upon it, human rights organizations, civil society, even individuals will have to hold the state accountable or the global community accountable. It's not just the media, it's not just filmmakers, it's not just activists who will talk about it. We have to stand together. Sooner or later, my right can also be, uh, you know, at stake. Our rights have been at stake at different times for the Bengali nation. We stood up and others stood up for us. So there's a question of people the people power to stand up and stand behind uh, and beside the Rohingya population as well. The underpinning of human rights, their ability to be recognized as members of Myanmar society, to exercise basic rights, to be able to, to move freely, to have jobs, to have medical care, to go to school, um, and to have citizenship in their own country. So unless these things are addressed, it's going to be very difficult uh, to see a permanent solution for the Rohingya people, and this is what we work towards. It's important uh, when we talk about return and repatriation that, that we emphasize the need for sustainable return. Uh, the second thing, in, and as the UN, we very much appreciate that there's been unwavering commitment from the government of Bangladesh that return needs to be voluntary and in safety and in dignity. They're forced to become refugees. And the longer they stay away from their country, the, the weaker their connections become, uh, the harder it is for them to reestablish themselves. So it is an important goal for people to go home as quickly as possible. I sent people home to the Democratic Republic of Congo. I sent people home to Burundi in conditions of relative peace and security. Today, many of them have come back to, to Tanzania as refugees. And we want to make sure that this time, when the Rohingya people go back to Myanmar, that this is the last time that they feel forced to flee to Bangladesh. There are four key issues which is preventing a sustainable repatriation. Number one is the recognition of their identity. They must be recognized as an ethnic population of Myanmar. That's number one. And that is linked to actually citizenship. The number two is, they must be allowed to go back to their respective villages. 
So they, they will not go to any camp in Myanmar from a camp here. Number three is they must have basic civic rights. Right of movement, freedom of movement, legitimate opportunities, and access to education, health, etc. And number four is they must be allowed to get back the properties that belong to them before they were displaced. If these four keys, key issues are recognized as the stumbling block to repatriation, I think things become more easy. The CD Council should pressurize Myanmar, whether it's ASEAN, whether it's Delhi or China, that's the place where they should work. Tell Myanmar, change your rules, change your 1982 citizenship law first, or bring an amendment where these Rohingyas would feel secure. By, just by saying that, oh, we want to take them back, they are not going to feel secure because you have done, or your military has done horrible things. It is completely in Myanmar, and the Nijusha Nagarik, Rohingya, the Muddukar, etc. That is Nijedi, a Shamadan, Kutte Havi. Rohingya, the Jabak, Shokito, or Shamanis, or Shichai, Raka in a need to give a Jawar, Maduri, a Shamasar, Shamadan, Shambhav. Whatever Bangladesh government has done, it couldn't have done better. Under the administration, it couldn't have been done better. Someone was handling it for six more years, I can tell you that. State, in building with another state, no one is taking to the marching at the court. So Bangladesh did not stop there. It also simultaneously did September 2007 to the processing to pension the motion at the court. International body, uh, Lebanon, Rwanda people is a stateless people. We are not a stateless. We are a stakeholder. Our land is our country. Our country is our land. Bangladesh seriously needs to find a resolution for a dignified return of this forcibly migrated Rohingya community. Until this happens, the crisis will continue and bring miseries to the Rohingya population as well as the host communities. If 
after repatriation process takes long, this issue may become bigger gradually and can raise larger challenges for the subcontinent and perhaps for the rest of the world too. The Republic of the Union of Myanmar shall, in accordance with its obligations under the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, in relation to the members of the Rohingya group in its territory, take all measures within its power to prevent the commission of all acts.